Hi there, this is Yevon Jr. and in the next couple of tutorials we're going to finish off setting up the car. We're even going to go as far as doing lighting and texturing and also putting motion into the wheels and of course we're going to do the turning and reversing and all of that stuff. Okay, so this is where we left off after part two. Um, as you can see we have acceleration and we have an update method which calculates basically um, a reaction force. We have our logic nodes here which are allowing all this to happen and these are all derived straight from the actual body of the car. So I think actually that um, we're going to start off by doing the lighting and some texturing, you know, just to make it look a bit more interesting. And all I'm also what I'm also going to do is actually delete the wheels. Well, delete three of them. Because what's going to happen is we're going to want to put a whole load of uh, sensors, controllers, and actuators onto each of the wheels. And it's a lot faster just to do it to one and then duplicate that. So that's what I'm going to do. So delete three of them. Make sure you keep one. And what I'm going to do is begin texturing the actual car. Now, if you notice... Um, the actual modeler of the car, again credits are in the description, has created a whole set of materials here for us to use. Now, the Blender game engine does have one major, at least in my mind, limitation in the fact that it doesn't support reflections at all. You have to hard code them and when you do that the reflections you do get are pretty awful. Um, think of things like Source Engine you know that kind of thing you'll notice the only reflections you really get are off water and even then they're not particularly good the answer for that is they don't really have native support for reflections and neither does the blender game engine nevertheless it does have support for a lot of other things so you know i'm not really gonna make much of a complaint about that anyway so we, we have this set of materials here and of course, none of these transparency values are actually going to mean anything. So if we move over to the, change the engine to blend the game, then we can see what options we really do have. Right. So, let's set the texture mode, the actual view mode, to GLSL and pop over to textured shading in the viewport. Oh, and change that back to global as well. Hello, textured shading, please. Okay, never mind. Doesn't want to. Oh, it's doing the wheel, interestingly enough. Not the car. Oh, has this got a. There we go, sorry. Yeah, under display, set the maximum draw type to textured. There we are, that's why. I don't know why that was set like that. It's a bit odd. Never mind. Okay. Now here's a tip. If your view ever goes completely off, like completely offset and miles zoomed out and everything, you can easily return to centering around something just by selecting it and hitting the period or full stop key on the number pad. And that will actually center the view around the origin of the object. Well, actually, just around the very centre of the object. Really useful to get back to where you want to be. So I'm just going to look at this from the side. Now, the main material that we're actually applying is called mesh, I think, because that's that, and that's that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think the main material that's being applied here is mesh, by the looks of it. Yep. So, first of all, pick a colour for your body. I think since the wheels are green, I'm going to have to go with green. But you don't have to follow me. And we're also going to have to do something about these headlamps. Because if you notice, they, you know, they're just grey. So you don't like much. So, headlamps over will probably be the cover for them. 
something on. Oh, oh, there's some sort of glass on it, is there? No idea. Yeah, look. Let's have a look at transparency. If I uncheck that, set the alpha. Yeah, there we go. So we can actually make this the color for the lamp. I think I'm just going to set this to white. And what I'm also going to do is put the emit value up. So it actually looks like the lights are on. I think there's some sort of issue with the mesh here that the black isn't being rendered. Very, very strange. There must be there must be something on top of it or something. Okay, that's that. What about that? Blender selection it annoys me. Okay, no, that one. That's weird. Oh no, that's for okay. Never mind. Ignore me. Very odd. Very odd. It's not tire, is it? No, it's not tire. Oh, it's headlamps over. Where's the light source coming from? Whatever, whatever. I'm not bothered really. Mesh is that one. Oh, I think what it is. Is it that? No. Okay, we'll change the color of the windows anyway. I want to make them a bit darker like that. I know. Whether you can see the lights or not. And also the actual headlamps over. I want to just change that straight to black. Like that. There we go. Much better. Okay. So that's slightly better. It's a, now a green car. Alright, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this lamp here. And now you can see the emission coming off the light at the front. And I'm going to add a spot lamp. And of course these are going to act as the actual lights on the car. Well, no. I'll set this one up first and then duplicate it. So, the first thing we need to look at is its distance. So let's bring the distance down to 15 to start off with, like that. And what we really should do is add a ground plane, scale it up so we can actually see this lamp. There we go. Now that's a bit too bright in terms of shadows. So the first thing we're going to do is check sphere, and that will have, it have less of an impact over distance. The next thing we're going to do is go down to um, blend, the blend value, and this is basically how soft the edges are, so how much it blends into the actual black of the surface it's on. So if I turn this up, you can see the edges soften a lot. I think I'm happy with that, just a bit more. There we go. So it's a bit softer on there. I also want to bring it in a bit. Up, and I'm going to change the clip start then. The clip start is where it actually starts shining the light from. Okay, because if we actually look at the light, it's inside of the car. So if I had the clip start at zero, for instance, 
it would start shining a light from inside the car and nothing would come out. And again, clip end look is all the way down there. So, I'll leave it at 20. Okay, so that's pretty much the light setup. I might want to put the energy down to 0.7. Yeah, okay. Now, before it to be displayed properly, of course, we need to create a material for this ground plane. So, create that material and put specularity down to zero. We don't want it being shiny. And duplicate it. And we should see two nice beams coming out of the car. Alright, but I mean... Ah, uh, tell you what, for those who are fans of Need for Speed Underground, let's add a point lamp. Let's place it underneath the car. You can probably see where this one's going. Shove its distance down to 10. And change its color to something horrific, like purple. Yeah, it's now got neon. And yeah, I want to uh, change some specularity of this as well. So I've had to mesh, and I think they haven't really got the intensity very high on the specularity. So I think I'm going to ramp up the hardness to something like 80. This is a bit harder. Also remember, we don't have any transparency, so we can just ignore that. Sorry, we don't have any reflection, so we can just ignore that. Um, so I'm going to turn up the intensity a little bit, not too much, but also turn up the hardness so it looks more like a proper material rather than, you know, something too bassy. Okay, some weird stuff going on with the blue, but it's kind of cool, so, well, as cool as purple and blue and green can be. But we do need to get some of that green in somehow. Yeah, I like the specularity on that. It's much better. There we go. And don't forget to parent these to the car. To the uh, car, yeah. That one and here are the never mind. Here are the two lamps. All of them parented to the body. Like that. So now if I press play, the car the lamps move with the car. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Ish. Um I might play around with this before I distribute the file so it looks a bit better but it's basically doing the same sort of stuff. 